Hello everybody, welcome back to another US weather forecast video. Hope you're all having a uh, a nice day so far in the US. And uh it's fall and and some and uh, some of you guys are actually experiencing um, some chilly temperatures in in uh, the Great Plains near uh, the North Dakota or the Minnesota. We're going to start things off on uh, by looking at the temperatures and uh because because on the Great Plains is actually dealing with uh um um on the chilly side right now and 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 it is fall so it can get chilly um and so you might want to grab a sweater um um if you have one uh, checking in the northeast and it's it's not looking too bad in your area um in the northeast it could experience um just temperatures on 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 the mild side in the in the lower 70s in the 60s <clears throat> Also looking at Florida and the Gulf Coast, and you guys are actually experiencing um, um, some warm uh, to hot temperatures in the Gulf Coast in Florida or Louisiana or Texas. And also looking in Arizona, and oh, wow, over 100 degrees um, um, in Phoenix, Arizona right now. And that's, on the, on the, that's quite hot for you guys. And uh, parts of California, it could be in the lower 80s. And some parts of the areas could be, on uh, could be in the sixties to the fifties in the Rocky Mountains. Also, also the temperatures for Hawaii and uh, they're quite hot for you guys, um, uh, but not looking too bad, in um in Honolulu, um uh, some of you could experience the temperatures in the lower eighties, so I would highly recommend if you drink some plenty of fluids if you're gonna head out to the beaches. And and put on some sunblock because that sun is very hot. Also, looking at the severe weather outlooks, and there is a marginal risk in effect for parts of Nebraska, and Colorado, and uh, Wyoming at this point. And uh, while the rest of the United States, it could have some general thunderstorms just approaching uh, your exact location in and in, in this day. And a uh, and a uh, and. Uh, and speaking of thunderstorms, uh, there is a flash flood watch um, that's in effect for parts of Tennessee, uh, the Kentucky, and also parts of west, west of Virginia, and parts of Ohio as well. Um, so be aware um, that heavy rain, it could flood your area and, um, in a matter of minutes. And you certainly don't want to be driving in cars and because you can get trapped. And most of the deaths um, just occur on from those on from those drowned on uh, vehicles or anything else like that also looking at the radar uh, for you guys uh, who are under the flash flood uh, f flood watching and uh, uh, there could be heavy rain at times or or perhaps even slow moving on um just the rain showers i'm j i'm just heading in your exact exact location uh, so like I said, uh, uh, don't go outside. Uh, just hunger down uh, and don't travel outside. Also looking at the tropics right now, and uh, and yeah, um, so um, so Kirk is is a remnant low, and and uh, because of its fast moving system, and 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 uh, the thunderstorms are not all that organized, and and and, it and also doesn't have a closed um, circulation as well. So this could be uh, the last advisory issued by the National Hurricane Center. Um, but nonetheless, uh, the Leeward Islands could experience um, some heavy rainfall in the next coming days. Also, subtropical storm Leslie right now, and, and it's holding its intensity to 40 miles per hour, still moving to the east at over uh, 5 miles per hour, but it's still... Uh, but it's still over 1,200 miles uh, from uh, the Azores, so it's a long way in terms of the exact track that it's going to go. Also looking at the West Pacific, and we got a super typhoon, um, a super typhoon trammy right now in the Western Pacific. And it's now an incredible on uh, the Category 5 storm with winds over 161 miles per hour. The pressure keeps on dropping to 915 uh, the millibars. And this thing is big and nasty. And so Taiwan, it could get spared a direct hit. Um, but on on but on on but Japan is definitely going to be in its crosshairs 
as it continues uh, to push into uh, the west, northwest, or more uh, the northward in the next coming days. Also looking at the infrared satellite picture, and it's just a little looking more like a buzzsaw here. Look at that well-defined eye in the center of the storm. This is a well-organized, and it doesn't have any effect um, and wind shear is not going to be an issue with the storm because it is low, so it's in a favorable environment for it to rapidly intensify. That's it for your forecast. I'm meteorologist Nicholas Barreto. I'll have another update tomorrow afternoon.